So let's go to the next one, and this is tool number nine and 10, the appearance panel. What is the appearance panel? Let's click on it. The appearance panel is, I like to describe it as layers on steroids. Now, don't get offended by me saying that. I'm just saying it just has uh, a lot of ability to improve your workflow. And so we're just gonna demonstrate this. So let's go ahead and select the outline of this character, which is, uh, which is this blue. And all we're gonna do on this is we're going to apply, it doesn't have a stroke, it's just a fill. So right here you can see fill, you can see stroke like that. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a stroke to it. So we'll go stroke, oops, I'm sorry. Go here, go to the option menu and we're gonna go uh, new stroke. And we're gonna drag this down here and we're gonna go ahead and go into the color. We're gonna go zero and here we're gonna go six like that, but I want this to be below the fill, kind of like that. And actually we'll go to 12 because I want the visual appearance to be six. That looks good. Now we're gonna drag this other stroke that we weren't using down underneath that. And on this one, we're going to actually, you know what? I'm gonna color this gray. Then the one underneath it is gonna be colored white. And we're gonna double this to 24, like that. So you can see what it's doing over here on our design. Then the next thing is we're gonna go down to effects. We're gonna go to style. We're gonna go to drop shadow. And we can preview this to see what it looks like. That doesn't, actually that doesn't look too bad, but we're gonna adjust it a little bit. Let's go five. Let's go three, like that. And that looks that looks really nice, so we'll click OK. So this is how you can apply all these effects. All these effects are just applied to this one, uh, one graphic in this overall motif. So that's how the appearance panel can manage all of these. So if you ever want to go back and make adjustments, you just go to the appearance panel and do that. Now, graphic styles, is like the best friend, let's drag this out, of the appearance palette. Because let's say you're gonna have multiple graphics where you need to use the same styling to keep them all consistent. Once you have it set up, just drag it down into the graphic styles panel and you can save it like that. So you can click any other element of any other design on this one. Let's go ahead and here's isolation mode again. If we go into isolation mode, we can select the background here and click the style we set up and then back out. And now we have it ready to apply to that anytime we need it as we're moving on on a project. So graphic styles are great uh, for this exact uh, kind of thing. And we're going to keep moving forward here. Let's turn on this. Maybe you create an icon set. Uh, for your for your company or for a client of yours. Well, here's an example where we have one style applied to this. So we can just select all these other icons we've created for that same client and apply that same style to it. And it just makes the process a little faster. And if this is saved within the core assets file for a brand, then it's always on target and you, you keep the continuity intact moving forward. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.